Hey guys, I'm here with Hassan Azim. A nice early stoppage day. How, how are you feeling after that one? Yeah, I feel great. You know, everything went to game plan. I felt sharp. It's probably my best performance, even though it ended in 25 seconds. You know, I've been working really hard in the gym and uh, just been grafting hard, just getting better and better. And yeah, I've just been improving. Day one, out of there. Yes, Anthony. Lovely, man. How are you doing, man? Good, good. When I, uh, when I spoke to you the other day, you seemed very, very confident, but not this confident of a knockout. What has this done for your confidence going forward now? No, it, you know what it is? It's just, I know I put up hard work in. I know I've been sparring great. I've been sparring a lot of rounds as well. And um, yeah, I'm so confident with everything. So it's, um, it's, I can get a, I can get tired tomorrow if I have to, but you know, Shane and the coach and the, to coach, and, sorry, and the team knows um, you know, it's good to take my time and I can enjoy the moment, then know where I can go. So yeah, I just have to go back and see what my team says, but yeah. Well, after a finish like that, the world is your oyster. Who do you want next? I want you to look into the lens of that camera and tell them exactly who you want next. Adam Azima. <laughs> I haven't got anyone in mind yet. I'm just going to go up, go up the ranks, that's it, and just grab those titles. But I am, I am actually keeping a close eye on Spence and Crawford because I know down the line I, I want to fight them. If they if they don't retire by the time I get up there, who do you see winning that fight between those two? Um, I love Spence, but I feel like Crawford's going to win this fight. You but do. I think it'll be twelve rounds. You think it's going the distance? Yeah, you do. And finally, how long before we see you headlining one of these cards? You know, whatever God wills, and um, yeah, Adam's headlining for me, so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, you know. Um, Hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully soon. soon yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, thank mate. You so it's been much. an absolute thank pleasure. You. I'm here with Adam Azim, who's just watched his brother Hassan yeah. get a nice early stoppage. What are your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, he boxed, uh, he boxed really, really well. He, st he stuck with his jab, uh, got the shot in really lovely, and uh, he buzzed him with the left hook early, and then he, he cracked him with the right hook, and yeah, he couldn't get up from that shot. And uh, he's very powerful. I must say he's very, very powerful. I think he's more powerful than me. But I've got the speed and power, but Hassan's got pure power. Like he's, he's naturally very heavy-handed. So, you know, he's in the learning process in the professional career. So uh, it's good that, you know, he got the, got the stoppage. But when he gets up, up and learn more craft, he's going he's gonna to definitely be a threat uh, in, in his division. And what moves do you think he should be making in the next two, three months? What fight do you want to see him go into next? Um, he could take like slow steps, uh, test, test fights, and then he hopefully can get a, a little title or something like the, you know, the youth, youth WBO, youth uh, WBC or something, you know, one of those uh, youth belts that would be good on his uh, resume as well. So, yeah, he done really well and I'm really impressed with him. So, yeah, he, he, he smashed it today. Well, congratulations to him and obviously you coming here seeing this raucous yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. It must get your telly, your tongue be very, very hungry yeah, for yeah. a fight. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm really gutted, to be honest, really, really gutted. I actually wanted to uh, fight, fight today. I was absolutely ready uh, for this fight. I knew that you know the Ukrainian was here to win, and I knew that if I get in that ring and I fought, I fought a couple of rounds, I would have got him out there. But you know everything happens for a reason. So, uh, but, I was, uh, but I'm really happy, you know, coming here and enjoying it uh, as well. So I love my boxer, so I have to come. Yeah, and I, I presume that's got the fire going. Yep. How soon do you think it will be until we can see you headlining another one of these events? Um, definitely, it'd be like August, September time. Um, I, can't, I can't tell you about time yet because of the recovery purposes on my hand. But yeah, everything happens for a reason, but I should say, inshallah, I should be out soon. Yeah. And just finally, would you like your brother to be on the same card as you? Does that, yeah. How does that like yeah. affect your training, both of you training for the same day? Um, do you know, it doesn't affect us at all. We, if we're fighting on the same card all the time, and it's, it's better for us because we're in the training camp together, uh, obviously, we're going to have to go into camp together, eat together. And it's, it's good because I think last time I remember he fought in Bournemouth, and obviously I wasn't on the card. It was a bit lonely for him because obviously he didn't have no one there, such as I would be there if I was in the training camp. But yeah, but it'd be good if I, if us two definitely fight together. Well, thank you very much. I'm not going to take any more thank of your time. That. Very nice that. to yeah. see you. Thank and hopefully we'll see you in the ring very, very soon. Thank, thank you. you very much for your thank time. You, Cheers.